Have you ever seen mountain biking footage that looks like this? Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Mike and you're on the Gnarly Bear Mountain Biking channel. Today, I will show you how to edit mountain biking 360 camera footage to look way faster than you're actually going. This video idea came about after I looked at a Reddit unpopular opinion talking about people looking way faster than they actually are by using distortion and a wide field of view. I've seen these videos firsthand, mostly on shorter media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. I want to shed some light on how this effect is achieved and how much faster it can make you look. From here on out, just to make things easier, I'll be calling this the hyperspeed effect because it looks like you're going hyperspeed in Star Wars. I personally think the massively wide field of view and high distortion correction looks a little bit tacky, but to each their own. 360 cameras and wider lenses have really opened up mountain biking filmmakers to use their creative judgment in making videos that they and their audience like, and that is a good thing. To illustrate how the hyperspeed effect is achieved, I will edit some footage that I took on my Insta360 camera using the editing software Insta360 Studio. The clip I'm editing is not of a particularly fast trail, it's just a fun little section that's moderately steep. It's a blue square by Wisconsin standards, which isn't very intense. Let's get into it. First, I import the clips into Insta360 Studio, set a keyframe, and direction lock the camera so it stays steady. If you don't understand this, that's okay. It's not the main point of the video. Next is where things get interesting. Within my keyframe, I can set the field of view and distortion control. Setting a higher field of view makes it look like I'm going faster because the sides and the ground are moving faster relative to my body. We're off to a good start here. The next setting I can play with is distortion control. Setting distortion to a lower value decreases distortion. However, to do this, the edges of the image get blurred because of the correction algorithm. This makes it look like you're going faster because the sides of the image are blurrier. Now we have some hyperspeed mountain biking footage. Here are three different clips, all showing different levels of field of view and distortion. First up, we have hyperspeed, which looks absolutely ludicrous. This is a high field of view, high distortion correction view. Next up, we have a step down from hyperspeed. It's still ridiculous looking, but in the realm of possibility of seeing on social media. Finally, we have what I would consider a tasteful edit of 360 cam footage. You may not agree, but that's alright. To look fast using a 360 camera, all you need to do is jack up distortion control and field of view. You will make your local flat trails look epic. However, not everyone likes this effect. Any editing is always up to the judgment of the creator. The hyperspeed effect is an intentional choice in editing software and not something that comes by default out of the camera. Different people will have different tastes and that's okay. 360 cameras have spiced up the boring old point of view mountain biking footage that we're used to and that's a good thing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.